There is no doubt that she is a remarkable woman. There's no one that doesn't like Emily. In downtown Baton Rouge, Emily Tilly has worked for nearly a decade helping adults recover from addiction at the O'Brien House. But for this social worker, her memories of the shelter go back much further. I've been at O'Brien House for eight and a half years. Um, my mom was actually a client here back in 2004. She suffered with a, an addiction for 16 years of my life. Emily's childhood was short-lived. As the daughter of someone who battled addiction, Emily was forced to parent long before having kids of her own. Even though my mom had an addiction, she was still a good mom, but we struggled financially. It taught her how to actually be independent, how to be self-sufficient, and, and how to be a go-getter, and that's what she's doing. Today, Emily uses her life experience to help others. Her life changing here kind of started our healing process and when I went to graduate school and became a social worker and a job came available, I just had to, I had to come here. She um, has uh, rapport with all of our clients because as her mother was a client of O'Brien House, she sees part of her mother in everybody that comes through O'Brien House. Ms. Emily is very hands-on. Um, she has a lot of compassion for substance abuse and that, you know, it's very personal for her. My interactions with the clients are different because I know where they're coming from. I, you know, I watch my, both of my parents actually struggle with addiction my whole life and I can give them the insight of how their families feel. Every school now is trying to get their interns to come through this program and you have a limit, you know, but it's because of Emily and her leadership. She has to balance not only the 24 hour a day responsibility for the, uh, the clinical department of O'Brien House, but she also has a family. And in what spare time she has, she's working on her doctorate on a, on a PhD. And she does a lot of other volunteer things within the community. Emily says the love from her support system is what motivates her now to be a role model for her daughter. I just want people to remember me for my compassion. I mean, I, I do what I do because I love what I do. Um, I love helping people and I, I don't see myself doing anything else but helping people for the rest of my life. Kellyanne Biley for Remarkable Women.